rotational shot put and wall throws. What do we do different in a rotational shot put than we do in the discus? We're gonna talk about it in this video, so check it out. Hey everybody, it's Eric Johnson, and in today's video, what we're gonna talk about are wall throws using the shot. And today we're gonna be training the uh, shot for rotational shot. And again, the setup is going to be different, and we're gonna start out with stand throws. Now, one of the things we do in our system, we do a we do a process of things, something we call a pre-block, and that is a restricted stand throw where we're pre-blocking the block leg. We're gonna talk about the stand throw, which is pillar five and six, which is the act of moving the alignment Alignment. And one of the things we call is when we set up, so if I'm throwing in that direction, I call, I set up and I set the angle and what we refer to as setting our stack, foot, knee, hip, pec. And we get that in line so that we can rotate everything into the throw. Again, remember one of the reasons we're promoting wall throws is so many people are gonna be going into those winter months. We're coming out of fall, people are coming out of their fall sports and we're gonna begin winter sports and we're gonna be in winter. And in certain places in the US here, we've already got snow and cold weather and people are going inside. And again, look around at this massively high-tech facility we have right now, which is called a concrete wall and an indoor soft shell shot. Why we love wall throws again so much that we've explained multiple times, we can't focus, we can't see how far it's gonna go. We're focusing 100% on what we're doing on technical positions and we can start to create more awareness of feeling because we're taking out that element of where is it and how far is it? We're looking at, we're just gonna be hitting it and guys can still hit it, but they can pay attention to like they hit it and didn't feel so good and, and you can also hear the sound of it. These are the reasons why we're we're letting people know that this is, this is one of the great ways to get in a ton of results. And the shot is the shot. I mean, bot bottom line, if you're throwing the shot and you're throwing it into the wall, you're, you're getting your shot training in. Again, one of the things we're gonna be focusing on is really loading up the right, how to counter and rotational shot. One of the things we talk about is rewinding the left side. So one big mistake people make is they try to wind the shot. Don't wind the shot, wind the left side, create the tension and then fire the delivery side. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have him do that and we're gonna have him make sure that when he gets over, he's gonna create more load, create his angle, and he's gonna get a little bit more crunched up because this isn't the discus where we're trying to be long, implement sitting on top of us. So we've gotta get the load and really create that tension so that we're gonna create that nice, active, long block arm, okay? So we're gonna have it set. He's gonna get over it. Okay, so one of the things is Carson was a glider and last year was his first year with the rotational throw. So he tends to have that kind of, that hybrided glide um, rotational shot finish where he's pulling the arm in. We shot some video for you guys on the discus and so everything was long and now we're in the shot where everything's gonna be more compact. And that's one of the tricks when you transition. And I need him to create the angle because the implement's here, he's gotta create the angle more this way and feel that big stretch, so he's gonna feel the longer, the longer block arm, right? And he's a 6'2 thrower, so we'll, we'll mirror those 6'2 type elite throwers. Stretch, good. So the good thing is he still pulled around, he was focusing on the stretch, he came around more and he got more delivery, so he got the right leg. The delivery leg, because of that setup, enabled him to get his hip through and you're gonna notice he had more lift on the shot. So he had a higher angle and that was actually good. We don't wanna have too high of an angle as a rotational thrower, it's a lower angle than the glide. Again, what we're focusing on is high degree of reps in a short period of time, we can just throw, throw, throw. It's very easy to get a 30 rep set, a 30 you know, throw training session with a shot in a wall throw. So it's a, it's a great way to get in just a lot of reps. And again, with here in good weather, we throw this and then we go outside and throw the shot inside the ring. But we're, we're doing both because we want to have that time spent where we're not focusing on how far is it going. Okay, so here we go. So Carson's going to do another couple of throws. So he's going to stretch and he's going to hit that time it. And he's got a lock, right? Here you go. So you can see that's actually a better throw. He's coming through the ball and connecting better and he's getting a nice lift on the ball. Now again, this is his second year with the rotational shot. He was gliding for a number of years. We worked on that and he's he's got that kind of classic push from the glide. So you see that a little bit even in his discus 
and you see that in his here, he wants to go and we're trying to teach him to be rotating on it a little longer. So again, that's one of the things that we really, really want to focus on. One of the key things here is we would add, we're looking at it the way, again, the throwing chain reaction system works. This is our pillar five, six. Look at our video on the drill down, look at our push versus pivot on YouTube. And we'll talk about those elements that are going in here. And those would be drills we would add in for his throwing. Again, for our online members, we'll go through and we'll break down this stand throw and this pillar five, six, and we'll talk about some of the specific drills, pillar drills and pillar connection movements and kind of break this down in more detail. And if you'd like that, go ahead, hit and log into the site, see that. If you're interested in becoming a member, be sure to click the link, look at all the info and details that comes with it. It's a step-by-step -step system for teaching you how to throw and learn how to throw farther faster. So thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and we will see you on the next video. Now, perfect example of big over rotation. So he's not turning his knee here and driving this way. So this is the point of the wall throw. 